tutorial is how to paint on fabric. I've never painted on fabric before, but if you've looked at any of the other shoe transformation videos, you can see that I've painted on regular leather and suede. So this is just to show you my experience with painting on fabric. Um, I'm painting these floral colored shoes red for a different project that I'm doing, but I wanted to give a detailed tutorial in case you need to change the color of your shoe in order to get to the point of the starting place for the project, if that makes sense. So I have these floral shoes. I have this Angelus white acrylic leather paint for the base. I have this pearlescent riot red paint, and then I have this satin acrylic finisher to finish off the shoe and make sure that the paint does not crack. The first thing I did was I tested the shoe, and hopefully you can see this here. It's hard to see because this is a floral print, but I took some of the white, I mean, I'm sorry, the red paint, and I just painted a patch right here on the shoe. Uh, and it seemed to stay it's not scratching off you can still see the floral pattern so I did it for two reasons first I wanted to see if the paint would stay and second I wanted to see if I actually needed to put a base coat before I painted the shoe red and for me I decided yes because I can still see the floral pattern under one coat but again that's personal preference my very first step with painting the shoe is to tape off the parts of the shoe that I do not want to paint. This bottom part is, it feels kind of like velvet. Uh, maybe it's some kind of like fake suede. So I'm gonna cover this with some clear tape. And then once I tape that down, I'm gonna go back over it with masking tape just to make sure that the edges are covered. And then I'll start the paint process. My shoes have been taped off and now it's time to start the painting process. My first step is going to be to take some of this white paint and just apply it to the shoe. And where you start it doesn't really matter. Um, I'm just going to start right here and just apply the paint. So I prefer to put my paint in this little container that I ordered and then paint from there. Um, but you can do it however you want, obviously. Um, totally up to you, it just depends on what makes you most comfortable. But I'm gonna go ahead and continue painting the whole surface of the shoe. And like I said, I'm just applying it liberally. It really doesn't matter because I'm gonna go back over the paint with red. Right now my main focus is to uh, mute out this floral print so that the red paint has a fresh background to start on. So I'm just priming the shoe. If you've ever painted a wall you know exactly what I mean. And if you're wondering because from this side you can see that um, the paint went on really thick. I think it was just because it was in this little container. It was some leftover from a previous project. But I can see right now that I'm gonna need several coats of this white primer. So I'm gonna paint the entire shoe and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like after one coat. This is the shoe after one coat of paint. I can still see the floral print, so I'm gonna keep going. I'll show you after coat two. This is coat two. I will show you what it looks like after coat three. This is what the shoe looks like after three coats of primer. I like how it turned out and I am actually going to start painting it red. I think that the red is dark enough to cover up the rest of the floral print. So I'm really pleased. Um, I did want to show you something which is, hopefully you can see this, but it's just um, a paint stroke that's right here. And I just am showing this to you. If you're painting at home, make sure that you use really long strokes because this was a short stroke and it stayed and I don't think I'll be able to get it out. So learn from my mistake and just make sure that your strokes are long and broad when you're putting in the primer because if you do have something where the paint kind of um, gathers in an area, it's really hard to get it out. 
These are the shoes after the first coat of red paint. And as you can see, it still needs to dry in some areas, but for the most part, this first coat is covering up the um, floral print nicely. I'm going to add at least one more coat and I will show you what it looks like. This is the result after two coats of red paint. I am going to let the shoes dry overnight. I'm going to add the satin finisher and I will show you the final result. This is the final result. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.